So chances are you're not at the 1K, 4K threshold yet, and you're trying to get monetized on YouTube. And as you might know, the requirements for monetization on YouTube are 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the past 365 days. So the question today is, are those thresholds the best ones available? Can there be better thresholds? Well, that's the topic we're going to discuss in today's video. And so the shout out today will go to Pelican Mafia because he made the first comment on my previous video and I will give the shout out to him, get him to 100,000 subscribers. The link will be down below. And now let's get on with the video. So recently I made a community poll on my community tab asking which YouTube partner program threshold you would remove if you could, but unfortunately you can't because as of today, you must meet both thresholds in order to be monetized. And a majority said that they would remove the 4,000 watch hours part. Now the question is, is the 4,000 watch hours really the best threshold? I know a few said they would remove the 1,000 subscribers threshold and a few said they would remove the compliance review. And in order, to get monetized, you must pass compliance review after meeting the thresholds. So compliance review and 1000 subscribers aren't really a problem according to my audience, but the 4,000 hours is a big problem when it comes to my audience. So what do we do instead of the 4,000 hours? There are many examples and I'm going to list some of them. So now when you come to think about it, 4,000 hours, that's equivalent to 240,000 minutes to be precise, or 166 days, which is almost half a year. So you would need 1,000 human beings to watch four hours of your content in a span of 365 days. So you'd need at least somebody for almost half a year to be watching your content. So that might not that might not seem like a lot, but it's more than you think. And 4,000 hours, there are pros and cons to it. The pros are that people who get 4,000 hours, they have lots of active viewers. And the cons are that um, the people who view your content, they might not view it enough. Like... It all depends on the subscribers. YouTube probably set the 1K, 4K threshold to like stop fake engagement or whatever, but the 1,000 subscribers part is causing the most fake engagement because people are focusing on the 1,000 subscribers part. And if you have subscribers who don't watch your videos, I don't see how you're gonna get to the 4K threshold. So that's something to consider. But yet again, there are many other thresholds that I would consider to put into effect. I mean, YouTube has to accept the thresholds, but I'm just saying that those will be better thresholds in my opinion. So the thresholds that I like most are, there are three of them. The first threshold is at least one video with 10,000 views. The second threshold is at least 10 videos with 1,000 views. If you have a 10,000 view video or a 100,000 view video, that would also count as a 1K view video and a 10K view video if it has more than 10,000 views. And the third threshold is 100,000 lifetime views. So the reason why I said those three thresholds is because if those thresholds go into place, subbotting won't be a thing. And um, if you have those thresholds in place, then the ad revenue from all, all those videos will um, partner up between the creator and YouTube. YouTube will get 45% of every ad view. So if you get more viewers, the more money YouTube makes and subscribers don't really mean a thing when it comes to ad revenue. The more subscribers you have doesn't necessarily mean that you'll get more money on YouTube. It all depends on the ad views and the ad views, are the most important thing when it comes to YouTube monetization. And 1,000 subscribers is just way too easy to reach. I mean, like 
people can like violate the fake engagement policy on YouTube to get to 1000 subscribers. And the thing is, that's not something that I would encourage on YouTube. I would definitely not encourage sub botting because that's cheating. And so just give yourself time to get legitimate viewers and then you'll be at the current monetization thresholds, which are the 1K, 4K thresholds. But yet again, I think my thresholds could be better than the 1K, 4K threshold. So, yeah. So now before I end this video, I would just like to ask you, what should YouTube do next? Should YouTube keep the 1K, 4K threshold? Should they approve my proposed threshold? Or should they use a threshold that you would like? Just leave it in the comment sections below. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe.